my young days, there was one job no girl would have touched with a barge pole. Being a bargee was looked upon as a pretty tough job even for a man. Nothing but hard work and hard tech. But that's all altered now, except for the hard work. And Audrey, Anne and Evelyn can hold their own even with the old timers. These three girls have been with the Grand Union Canal Company for more than two years, taking cargoes of steel, copper and lease land materials from London to Birmingham. Before they became bargees, two of them were nurses, and the other used to work in a camouflage factory. Then they heard that strong girls were wanted for a man-sized job, and now there's nothing you can tell them about what makes a barge go. A couple of toots on the whistle, and they're ready to get underway as soon as they cast off the rope. They're going to be together for quite a time. It'll take them the best part of three weeks to get to Birmingham and back. Ropes hauled in and soon they'll be on their way. It's not so easy as it looks keeping your balance on a rolling barge. The screw turns and they're off. No matter how many voyages you've made, there's always something exciting about setting off. There are bound to be adventures on the way and the girls are responsible for seeing that 50 tons of essential war supply get safely through to their destination. There are precious few comforts on a barge, you take it from me. But our three bargees don't worry about that. They've got a job of work to do. Quite a lot depends on the hands that holds the tiller. These barges are no lightweight affairs to handle. And you've got to have a steady eye and a strong arm or you'll find yourself in Queer Street. Ah, something better than the old tack here. It'll be a queer thing when grandchildren ask Granny, what did you do in the war? And they say, I was a bargee. 